welcome to my channel. This is Amy Ecker and we are back with another foundation review all day wear test. So today we are using the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. We're going to see how this holds up during a work day. Um, I will say getting into this packaging was like wrestling a gorilla in um, oil. Holy mackerel. So Ulta knows how to um, seal their packages and yeah, it took some sharp objects to try to get the packaging off the outside so that I could actually use it. So great job Ulta. Um, but the color that I'm using in the Ulta Beauty is light and warm. Um, it went on really nice and I used a stippling brush. There was no brush strokes. It just went on fantastic. So if it went, I'm hoping that at the end of today that it looks as great as it worked. Um, this is a natural finish, paraben free and oil free. And I have very oily skin, so anything that's not gonna add oils to my skin is already a huge hit. Now let's just see if it performs. So if you wanna see how this does, stay tuned. So we are gonna try the HD Soft Focus Foundation from Ulta today, and we're gonna do an all day wear test. So we'll see how great this does. We're gonna wish it well in an all day wear test. Um, as I'm always very hopeful they pass an all day wear test. Okay, so we're gonna use a stippling brush and I'm just gonna put a little pump on. Kind of spread this or do a pump at a time. Let's see how that did. Actually, using the stippling brush went really well. Um, it applied nicely. There's no brush strokes, so yay. That's always a good sign. So we're going to add some airspun powder. Okay, it's end of day. So, how did our Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Foundation do? Let's check it out. Okay, so to be honest with you, I did not touch up at all. I used no powder, no blotting, no nada, nada, nada. So, um, A, I'm pretty impressed, okay? I've got a little bit missing at the tip of my nose. A little bit of patchiness on my chin, which normally I, I found that I kind of rest my hand or my chin on my, my finger, so I'm not surprised that um, I'm missing some. But for the most part, considering how much I rest my chin on my hand, um, it stayed pretty good. A little bit is gone um, around the nose area on both sides of my nose. But for the most part, considering this is the end of business day, and again, I use no blotting powders, powders, I use no blotting tissues. I did not do any powders. This is literally what um, is on my face over 12 hours later. I'm pretty impressed with the Ultra, uh, Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. So um, again, this color was in light warm. And if you like something with some staying power, this definitely looks like it has some. So not bad, Ulta. Hmm. I think it's worth the purchase. Thank you so much for joining me today on today's review. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any comments,
questions and I love, love, love suggestions, please put those in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed, there's another button below. It says subscribe. Please consider subscribing. There's also a little bell that if you press on it, you'll get an instant notification if I load any additional videos. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I really, I, I appreciate the subscribers I've gained just since July of 2016. Um, it has been an amazing, fun journey in a short period of time. So I want to thank everyone out there that has already subscribed. So um, if you have, think about referring me to a friend. And as always, you have the choice to make it a beautiful day.